James Asalis and I'm from Laros Technologies. We specialize in efficiency and other aspects of a build, particularly heat pumps as well. Hot water is generally the second most uh, energy consumption in most households behind heating and cooling the place. So any way to reduce that is very important. But the main reason to buy a heat pump hot water system is to save energy on your hot water usage. The difference between a storage hot water system and a heat pump hot water system. The electric storage will be using every kilowatt hour of energy straight into the water, whereas for the heat pump system, you get four kilowatt hours of energy into your water for every kilowatt hour of power you're buying. You're pulling energy from the air outside and then placing it into the hot water itself using a refrigerant cycle. And that ratio of four to one means that you're only using 25% of the power that you would normally use through other heating methods to get the same amount of hot water. That's a big saving in energy. Choosing the right system for your house involves a few factors, primarily the location of the existing hot water system and the positioning of that storage tank. And there are several systems like the one behind me that are in two parts, where you have a heat pump system separate to the storage tank. And that gives you a bit more flexibility with installation. You can keep your storage tank inside the house and it doesn't take as much rejigging of the plumbing during installation. You may look at how much water you're actually using and, and sizing your tank appropriately. There are a few made in Australia that now work for cold climates. It's the minimum rated operating temperature um, that's the important thing to ask about. Some systems have the ability to go from minus 10 degrees Celsius all the way up to 60 degree hot water. There are some refrigerants that are used in heat pumps that have a higher global warming potential than others. The lower the global warming potential, the lower the effect on the greenhouse gases if it does, for whatever reason, get released through damage. There are other options for heating water without using gas, of course. There are solar hot water systems, whether they're a tube or a flat plate hot water system uh, with collectors on your roof. And then there's also um, other heat pump systems such as geothermal heat pump instantaneous electric hot water systems do use a bit more power. However, you don't lose any energy from a storage tank. All installation needs to be done by a qualified plumber. Whether that plumber needs to be trained by the supplier or not depends on the system. A heat pump system is a considerable investment compared to an electric resistance hot water storage system, which is what you would normally have in most Canberra households. Because of the high efficiency of the units, they're put in the same scheme as solar panels and you get quite a bit of money back from the Australian government through their STC, Small Technology Certificate Scheme, after installing the system. In the ACT, there's an additional rebate for heat pump systems as well. The cost savings also involve the energy usage of the system. If you have a high usage household, you can have the units paying themselves off in about five years, depending on your energy costs. Once you've removed all the gas appliances from your house, you then get a qualified gas fitter to cap the pipe, and then you can cancel your account with your gas supplier. And that will certainly save you hundreds of dollars uh, per year in the supply charge. From an environmental perspective, uh, the heat pump systems use a lot less energy to create the same amount of hot water, which means that in Australia, we have a very carbon intensive energy system. Reducing the energy consumption from that energy system, it helps the environment overall. Yeah, energy efficiency, it's the best renewable energy we have.